I'm gonna be talking about things I liked and thinking about regrets that I have for my freshman year at NYU. So number one is I only made one friend group. This is enough, I don't need more friends. And I just kind of was content with that. I mean, I knew people in class, but I only made one friend group who I would go out with every single weekend. And I didn't really expand my horizons because making new friends is hard and annoying and kind of boring. Oh, what school are you in? Ha, huh, cool. Stern, fuck you, whatever. It's the same three lines. What school are you from? What's your name? How old are you? And you don't really create any good connections that way, so it seems like a pain and you're just like, do I want to do that? And most of the times you don't. But you should, just make yourself do that freshman year because, I mean honestly, if you just end up with one friend group then everyone else is gonna have their own friends and they're gonna be doing stuff and then you're gonna be like, shit. <laughs> everyone else has other friends and I don't. Okay, so number two. All the free welcome shit that you get as a freshman, take advantage of it all, all. I'm talking go get all the pizza and dumplings with your floor, go to the Bob Ross painting classes, walk the skyline, go to the Empire State Building. Sometimes they even have free slash cheap Broadway tickets and even free workout classes. Also, like, like workout classes here are like $40, so if you get to go one of the free, just do it, do it, do it, do it. I didn't do any of those. I didn't, I didn't do not one event. So I really regretted that because one, I could have done things for free. Two, that could have helped me make more friends. I think that's all. Oh, free food. Yes, I'm recording on another day because I messed up my first recording because I don't tend to do this face to face too much. So number three is beware of boast. The horrors of Boat start with the name, but definitely don't end there. Named after Elmer Holmes Bobst, who was an anti-Semite and probably a pedophile too. The architecture itself is also pretty daunting. Yes, it looks like a giant red prison cell, but more than that, once you go in, there is a marble flooring that is meant to look like there's spikes so that you won't want to jump. And that beautiful ornament gold painted screens are actually suicide preventing screens because people kept jumping. So in conclusion, as you might guess, the majority of the time that you will be in NYU, you will probably spend reading essays on more essays, studying for midterms, finals, and yes, reading way more essays. So pick your study location wisely because if you go to Bopes every single day for the first two weeks, as I did, you will get worn out and probably have a mental breakdown. Also, if you do reserve Bopes for like special occasions, like you need to grind right before a midterm, then you will become way more productive once you're there. Or that happens to me at least if I don't go on Instagram. Um, oh, and other great places to study are Kimmel, ninth floor with an amazing view. I'm there every day. Gallatin, seventh floor, quiet, great. Gallatin, fifth floor, always seems to have bagels or some sort of food. Tish also has some amazing study lounges. So that's it. Don't go to Bopes every day because you'll wear yourself out. But it's still pretty good to go because you it's a productive, competitive atmosphere. So number four, freshman year, take all the fun classes you can. Tish under the Open Arcs curriculum has a bunch of classes that are open to all of the schools. They have dancing, they have animation, they have webisodes, special effects makeup, the special effects mask. I'm sure they have like a zombie course too or like video production webisodes. So take those classes because freshman year is when to take the fun classes. And I took animation and I loved it. Ooh, this is a big one. When you go to a school, you're gonna miss your family like crazy. I'm, I miss them so much that I went home twice in the first month. Now, yes, I was very happy to see my lovely mom and lovely dad, but that was a terrible idea because it was during the week where everyone was making their friends. And so I thought there was this huge group of like 15 girls and we we're all gonna be friends. And like, cause we had a group chat and I thought it was great. And so I went home for two weekends in a row and I don't know what happened, but I guess they just kind of went their own separate ways. And for a whole weekend, I was freaking out because I was like, I have no one, I have no friends. They all have their own friends. They all have their own little groups. And then it was fine because I got Peyton. She's a queen. 
<laughs> so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like it. It's very different than what I normally do because it has no travel and no history. But I thought I would change things up a bit because I'm right now in New York and I'm running out of material. So I hope you guys like it. I hope it helps any incoming freshmen either here at another school or any other students at NYU. Um, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And wish me luck because we're in the middle of midterms.